Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create this soft and subtle glam. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. <music> I'm gonna actually start out with some bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze. And I'm gonna start out by just putting this in my crease and using this to kind of shape the eye. And this is something that you can honestly do with a lot of eye looks, is use your bronzer to kind of start your crease. For whatever reason, I feel like bronzer just gives you that perfect transition color. So don't be afraid my baby i feel like this year is gonna be the year of like just really beautiful pretty makeup you know less like crazy and more like pretty sexy kind of vibes so again i know i mentioned this a lot but i make sure i kind of connect this to this bone right here for my nose contour and you can take a little bit into the corner with a smaller blending brush, this is actually my shadow brush from my Makeup by Mario brushes. I am going into my Bobbi Brown palette. This is the infrared palette. It looks crazy. You can tell I use it so much. And I am going to literally just tap into this one here and then here as well. Just kind of mix. And I am going to kind of press this into the outer V. Notice that I'm pressing initially just to kind of deposit the color. And then I'm taking this up and into the crease area. Only about like halfway. I'm taking my finger and picking up this light shimmer shade here. And I am placing this as kind of like the main shadow on my lid. And I'm also bringing it kind of up into this little area here, kind of below where that nose contour connects. And then just kind of making sure it's blended. And we're gonna go back in with our shadow brush and just kind of re-go over and define everything. Taking my original crease blending brush and doing the same thing. Really pretty easy, you guys. I don't think this is like insane steps. I'm picking up just a little bit more of the bronzer to kind of try to re-blend everything. So next, with, an, with a little angled brush, I'm gonna pick up some of that deep brown again. And I am going to just kind of stamp on a line as if I were lining my eye. I'm gonna use the shadow to kind of create a little bit of a smoky effect. And you can kind of just stamp it on initially to make sure you get the color down. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of just like blend, smudge it out. Blend and smudge. Now I'm gonna take, this is my e.l.f. H2O proof eyeliner pen. I'm also going to take, this is my Urban Decay eye pencil in the shade Double Life, and I'm going to just go directly into my waterline. A little trick too, if you feel like your pencil isn't uh, grabbing enough color right away, you can kind of just run it on the back of your hand and it'll warm it up a little bit better. And then when you go in, it should come off really nice. And then I am taking it just on my lower lash line in the outer bit. And see, it looks really messy and crazy right now. That's okay, we're gonna smudge it. So back with this angled liner brush and that deep brown that we did up top, I'm also pressing this directly over and like into the liner that I just put on below. So this is a dark brown, this is black that we put over the dark brown on top. And by doing that, this is a technique that I learned from Mario in his masterclass. I feel like it really softens the look. Okay, so now that we've stamped that on there, it kind of helps to like secure the color. Now taking my bronzer again and our, this is the Makeup by Mario shadow brush. I'm actually gonna go underneath the lash line here, my lower lash line, and kind of start to smoke this with the bronzer. And make sure you're connecting it out here in this corner part, otherwise it's gonna look really weird. 
see now it's just really smoky and pretty and soft so then i want to make sure i'm just blending everything kind of together again blending 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 is key you guys a little trick i learned from jamie genevieve taking my angled contour brush or this is called contour slant and a little bit of bronzer i'm actually going to kind of blend my temple area here and just kind of mesh my eyeshadow into my contour of my temple i feel like it really really just kind of softens everything and gets rid of that awkward space where there's no shadow and i didn't do this on this side either so i'm gonna do the same thing now i am going to add mascara and lashes i will be right back okay so important step is to go in and reline once you put your lash on i feel like it really helps to conceal the lash band to not get down i swear to god this is the desi x katie highlight in the color fuego from dose of colors I'm gonna do my inner corner here and I am going to do the brow bone as well and I'm careful to keep it really towards the inside portion I don't want to go quite out to the tail of the brow while we're at it why not do the face this is my highlight brush and I'm just gonna smile a little bit and do this front part here and we will hit the nose as well let's do lips you can honestly really do any lip with this eye look of course i'm gonna go for a nude so this is my kkw nude liner in 0.5 to give it a little more definition i'm gonna use my nude liner in one And I just did that kind of at the cupid's bow and then down here. I'm going to take my MAC lipstick in the color Bear Bling. It's a very nudey nude, kind of a peachy undertone. I think the key with nudes is like a little goes a long way. So see how I just put a little bit here, blotted it together, and then I'm going to take my finger and kind of dab it out. Now to top it off, I'm going to do some of my Urban Decay All Nader Setting Spray. Okay, so this completes this look. It is just really neutral. You could do any type of lip with it. I think it's really wearable, sexy glam. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, they'll be listed in the description box below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please support me by subscribing to my channel before you leave. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Oh,